This is Delhi, the capital of India and one of the world's largest and fastest growing cities. With a current population of 32 million in this urban area, the United Nations projects that this number could soar to nearly 40 million by the end of the decade. Navigating this bustling metropolis can be a daunting task, as public transportation, apart from the new metro system, remains inadequate. Furthermore, Delhi is grappling with critical air quality issues and its road network is strained to the breaking point. However, there's hope on the horizon, thanks to the introduction of the new regional rapid transit system, briefly known as the RRTS. This mega project has the potential to provide the much needed infrastructure to this sprawling city, addressing its pressing transportation and environmental challenges. For three consecutive years, Delhi has held the unenviable title of the world's most polluted city, hitting record levels in 2021. Several factors contribute to this grim distinction, including the widespread burning of crop stubble after the annual harvest and India's heavy reliance on coal power. However, a major issue exacerbating the problem is the city's severe traffic congestion. Delhi is a big city with around 10 million vehicles on its roads. Every day, hundreds of thousands of these vehicles get stuck in traffic jams at busy intersections. This traffic problem is a constant issue because most people use cars to get around and the city's roads are struggling to handle all these vehicles. Even though Delhi has a metro system that started in 2002, it couldn't solve all of the city's transportation problems. The metro mostly serves the central areas of Delhi, leaving the people living in the outer parts of the city with limited options. They often have to use their own cars because public transport doesn't reach them. This traffic situation is bad for the environment, makes it hard to get to work and affects the quality of life for people in Delhi. So the city needs a better transportation solution, especially as more and more people move to Delhi and the city gets bigger. Fixing the transportation problems will help reduce traffic, clean the air and make life better for many people in Delhi. The ring and suburban train networks established in the 1970s stand out as a sad example of infrastructure inefficiency in Delhi. These networks, plagued by perplexing design choices, have long been underused and have remained in dire need of substantial upgrades for decades. As a result, the options for commuters seeking reliable train services, particularly those aiming to venture deeper into the national capital region, have been painfully limited. Delhi's urban landscape has suffered from a glaring lack of a viable train system for far too long, exacerbating the city's traffic and pollution woes. However, a change is on the horizon. Construction is now underway on a new regional rapid transit system set to revolutionize the transportation landscape. This system will connect central Delhi to cities and districts across the NCR, providing a solution to the city's long-standing traffic and pollution issues. This ambitious project involves the construction of three semi-high-speed rail lines originating from a massive new station situated at the heart of the capital. These rail lines will extend into the neighboring states of Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan. The first of these lines, an 82-kilometer corridor heading northeast to Ghaziabad and Mirut, is currently in full swing. This project is being executed by the National Capital Region Transport Corporation and will feature shiny new trains from Alstom, manufactured in India, capable of reaching speeds of up to 180 kilometers per hour. To put this in perspective, these trains will be approximately three times faster than the metro, with stations placed at more extended intervals, minimizing stops. The RRTS is designed to facilitate faster travel over longer distances. Passengers will be able to traverse the entire route in around 55 minutes, significantly reducing the time spent compared to a road journey, which typically takes about an hour and a half and even longer with traffic congestion. This new transportation system is expected to be a game changer for Delhi. Around 800,000 people are predicted to use it every day and that number could grow to millions when the other parts of the system are up and running. They're building a total of 16 stations for this new system. Most of these stations will be elevated, meaning they are above the ground. There will also be depots, which are like places to keep and maintain the trains, and underground stations that connect with the new Meerut Metro. The trains will travel through some of the most crowded parts of the city, helping many people reach their destinations quickly and easily. This includes crossing the Yamuna River, which is a significant geographical feature in Delhi. All of this is designed to make transportation smoother and more efficient for the people of Delhi. Building most of the train lines and stations on elevated piers that can reach as high as 17 meters above the ground is a clever approach. 
This design choice not only minimizes the amount of ground space needed, but also makes it easier to work around existing structures, roads, and other obstacles. It's like a sort of transportation puzzle where you're fitting all the pieces together efficiently. According to the National Capital Region Transport Corporation NCRTC, the group responsible for this project, construction is moving forward faster than any other major infrastructure project in India's history. This speedy progress is a testament to the dedication and hard work of the teams involved, and it's fantastic news for the people of Delhi who have long awaited a more efficient transport system. A critical and prioritized 17-kilometer section between Sahibabad and Duhai is on track to become operational by the year 2023. The wheels of progress are set in motion, with construction anticipated to kick off in the middle of 2022, potentially expediting the completion of this vital segment. This milestone marks a significant step in the overall project, bringing Delhi and its surrounding regions closer to a more efficient and interconnected transportation system. With this section set to be operational, commuters in these areas can look forward to faster and more convenient travel, improving their daily lives and contributing to the city's transportation transformation. Furthermore, the entire corridor is targeted for completion by 2025, with an estimated cost of around 4 billion US dollars. Construction is also set to commence on the 12 kilometers of new underground sections, four of which will be beneath Delhi itself, requiring the use of eight tunnel boring machines. While Indian contractors are handling most of the construction, one tunnel is being built by a Chinese firm, the Shanghai Tunnel Engineering Company. The announcement of this deal in early 2021 was met with some unease, especially following clashes between India and China over disputed territories in the previous year. However, the project's partial funding by the Asian Development Bank, of which China is also a member, allowed them to submit the winning bid. With so much happening, we haven't even talked about the highlight of the entire scheme, the place where everything will interconnect. All three of the lines being built in Phase 1 will radiate from a single central point here. Delhi's largest transport hub, the new Sarika Lakhani station, is set to become the main interchange point for RRTS services, the metro and the bus network. Having a central location where multiple transport systems converge is a significant development for Delhi, as such convenience hasn't been widely available before. For instance, travelers often had to take long walks or rickshaw rides to make their next connection when transitioning from the metro to a bus. With the new hub, this journey can be reduced to just a few steps across the station. Once the initial phase is successfully completed, there are ambitious plans to further expand the network with five additional lines, extending its reach deep into the National Capital Region NCR. These expansion initiatives are poised to be a game-changer, offering a more rapid and convenient mode of transportation for the millions of people residing in and around Delhi. The expansion will not only provide ease of access, but also play a pivotal role in mitigating the city's dire air pollution concerns. As more commuters switch to the new rail system, the number of vehicles on the road is expected to decrease significantly. This reduction in vehicular traffic is a critical step in addressing the ongoing environmental challenges that have plagued Delhi for years. The implications of these expansion plans extend far beyond convenience and efficiency. They hold the potential to transform the city's landscape and improve the quality of life for its residents. A more comprehensive and interconnected transportation network signifies progress towards cleaner air, less traffic congestion and a brighter future for Delhi's urban and suburban population. A study in 2019 predicted that just the Delhi to Mirut line could take approximately 100,000 vehicles off the road. When the entire network is operational, this figure is expected to increase, which is crucial for addressing pollution levels. The new system is estimated to reduce CO2 emissions in the city by 250,000 tonnes annually. For too long, the people of Delhi and the NCR have been in need of an effective and integrated transport system to complement the new metro system. Now, while the new transport system won't be a silver bullet in solving all of Delhi's traffic and pollution problems, it's a significant step in the right direction. Fixing these complex issues will require a multifaceted approach. Nevertheless, the introduction of a fast and efficient railway network is a positive start. If Delhi continues on its path to becoming the world's largest megacity, having such a railway system to support, its rapid growth will be more essential than ever. All right, guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more like this one, 
please like, share and subscribe to this channel to receive exclusive content about phenomenal developments around the world. Until the next video, stay informed and engaged.